All right, so we're doing more SAT prep. This is 3.4.18 on page 535. So that is practice test three, section four, number 18. It is the last problem in the section, which means it's hard. Because uh, again, in the old SAT, uh, problems were tiered by difficulty and they got harder as you went. Uh, in the XY coordinate plane, the distance between the point B, which is 10, 18, and some point A, which is X, 3, is 17. What is one possible value of X? So there's a couple different ways that you could figure this out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just go straight to setting up the distance formula because since it's not multiple choice, you can't really guess and check easily without uh, some pretty informed guesses. So, uh, so remember that the distance formula, right, just a quick review of how the distance formula works. Let's say you have some point x1, comma y1, and you have some point x2, comma y2. Um, this horizontal length would be x2 minus x1, and this vertical length would be y2 minus y1. So the distance between them is essentially d squared equals, and then you do Pythagorean theorem, x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared, which is why our distance, which is generally considered to be a scalar and thus positive, uh, would be x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y, sorry, it's a y1 quantity squared, all inside my uh, root, or you can extend the root this way, that's fine. Uh, now, this is given to you on most SAT formula sheets, so I just went through it in case you didn't know it, but it should be on the formula sheet for you. So now, knowing that, let's go ahead and find a value. So we know the distance is 17, and we know it's the square root of the x minus the other x value, so that would be x minus 10 quantity squared, uh, plus the y minus the y value, right? Uh, so I did 3 minus 18 quantity squared, right? Um, so 17 equals the square root of x minus 10 quantity squared, uh, plus this ends up being a negative 15 squared, uh, but you could just go ahead and make it a 225. Uh, so when you go to solve, you're going to square both sides to get rid of the root, right? Your 17 squared should give you a 289. Uh, and that should equal x minus 10 quantity squared plus 225. Now, I could actually foil all this out and try and factor, but I'm going to argue it's easier to subtract instead. So if I subtract the 225, so minus 225, right, uh, I'm going to end up getting a 64 equals x minus 10 quantity squared. Well, that's nice because now when I square root it, I have two options. Uh, when I take the square root, I need to make sure I write plus or minus. So my x minus 10 is either an 8, so x minus 10 could be an 8, or my x minus 10 could be a negative 8. So the two possible answers that you're going to get, you can add the 10 over and you're going to get an 18 equals x, or you can add this 10 over and you're going to get a 2 is x. So the two possible answers that you get are 2 or 18, and either of them are fine. Uh, now, sometimes one of them comes out negative and one's positive, and you can't do negatives on a grid-in question, so you'd have to pick the positive one. But uh, the reason they asked it the way they did is that there are more than uh, there's more than one possible value. You got two. That's not surprising. You also could have guessed and checked to figure it out. Um, another clever way to do this, uh, if you have some background knowledge but didn't want to do the distance formula, is to use your Pythagorean triple. So just to show you a cool other way to do this, right? Remember that. Uh, so we know some Pythagorean triples, right? So hopefully, we know some Pythagorean triples. Uh, so the most common one, uh, they go leg, leg, hypotenuse, right? The most common one is 3, 4, 5. That's the first one you learn. Uh, you probably also learned 5, 12, 13 at some point, right? Uh, there isn't one. There is one for 6, but it's just a multiple of this one. It's 6, 8, 10, right? Uh, so 7 and why did my brain just completely die? 24, 25, sorry. Every once in a while, brains get tired. Uh, 8, 15, and 17, right? Uh, and then 9, 40, 41. Those are the common ones, right? So those are the really common ones. Now, the reason I mention it is that this one is the one we're looking at. They told you that the distance was 17, right? So if you actually look at what's happening here, right, the points you had were 10, 18, and x, 3, right? And so essentially, um, you can see the distance between these guys is definitely a 15. So essentially, there's your 17 for the distance, right? Uh, one side is the 15. The, the 18 to the 3 is a distance of 15. Uh, and that must mean that these guys must be the 8, right? Like, uh, so this must be the leg that's an 8. So either it's an 8 because it's from 2 to, to 10, which would be 8 units, or it's an 8 because it's from 10 to 18, which would be 8 units. So just a kind of cool trick if you know your Pythagorean triples.